Hey everyone, Eric here from Lafix. I'm going to be showing you today an uh, Xbox a Series S uh, HDMI port replacement. This is the newer Xboxes that I guess you could say have recently come out, even though it's like what been almost two years now uh, since they've been out, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're going to be showing you how to do an HDMI port, especially if it's broken there. Um, there's lots of problems that can be with that, especially if you're wiggling it or if there's something um, ever that maybe kicks out the cable. There is damage to the actual HDMI port itself, and this could also involve if there's any type of damaged traces or anything. That's the one thing you want to always be aware of because especially if it's a little bit loose, you don't want to keep using it. You can actually short out the whole entire thing. That just goes to say for any type of HDMI port in any laptop, computer, stuff like that. Um, if there's any type of damage that you see it, you never want to keep using it over and over again. Just make sure you get it fixed first. So we're going to be showing you how to uh, how to do it on the on the board itself. There, I don't have the clips of me actually just removing it first, but we do have at least open. We'll do the the replacement for it, and we'll show you guys how to actually do that. So stay tuned for that. So check it out. Let's remove the old one. We can put a lot of uh, flux here just on, on each side, and then we can also mix it with some new solder. That's going to help loosen up the old solder, and when we put in some hot air, it's going to actually loosen up make it a lot easier. We're going to be doing the same on the other side, but we'll skip that a little bit there. It's going to come pretty easy, especially when we grill it with some hot air and put some solder and some flux. But now we need to make sure that the holes are going to be totally, completely uh, removed so we can go ahead and put in the new one. Uh, we want to touch up the pads a little bit too, make sure they're going to be fine. Uh, you can see the new HDMI and the old HDMI connection. You can see the damage there, but the new one looks very clean. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we um, put it in, and we're going to go ahead and touch up all the pads on the back there and make sure they're going to be totally fine. It's just slotted in totally fine. We just use some solder on each side. We touch it up a little bit more. And now the most important one, you can see all these little trace lines here. We need to touch them up um, each one to make sure they're absolutely perfect because this is probably one of the harder parts of the actual job is to make sure you do that and you have to be absolutely pristine and perfect because each one does really matter and it really makes a difference they all have a trace line to something uh, sometimes it could be some of them could be ground but you see the the difference there now you see the completed product it looks to be pretty good it's very straightforward it's very very clean you can see all the connections are there too and everything looks to be pretty good All right, anyways, guys, this is how you do the HDMI replacement on the Xbox Series S. If you like this video, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We even have the PS5. If you want to go ahead and check that out, uh, we also have, I think, a PS5 fan connection. Uh, we might have done it once or twice on it. You can see when the traces get ripped off when someone just goes and just rips it up there. They're not too careful. We have those. Um, we have other ones, too, on the channel. We have lots of cool liquid spill day recoveries, too. Check that out if you're interested. Uh, MacBooks especially. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, found this video informative, and see you guys next video. Thank you a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.